What's up, warriors? You got D Lin here on another music reaction video. Tonight's music reaction request comes to us from Keith Proctor, who asked me a very, very long time ago to react to Nightwish and their song Ghost Love Score. This song appears as the fifth track on the ninth studio album called Once by the Finnish symphonic metal band Nightwish from 2004. I'm just going to preface everything I say from here on. If I mispronounce names, I apologize, guys. Formed in 1996 by lead songwriter and keyboardist Tuomas Holopanen and former lead singer Tarja Turunen, Nightwish started to get a wider audience by the release of their second, third, and fourth albums, with Once being their breakthrough in the United States. This album saw major success with the release of the single I Wish I Had an Angel, which received MTV airplay and was included on three U.S. film soundtracks to promote their North American tour. This would be the last album with Taria as the lead singer. I believe that there has been a second lead singer. I don't remember her name, but this live performance of Ghost Love Score that I'm about to react to finds Nightwish with their current lead vocalist, the Dutch singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, Floor Jansen. I'm always amazed when two unlikely genres, which in this case would be symphonic, classical, orchestral music, and metal. I'm always appreciative of that type of hybrid. So without further ado, I'm reacting to a live performance by Nightwish. The song is Ghost Love Score, and it's performed, I think this is some sort of music festival walk in or whack in uh again guys i apologize for mispronunciations so
much to talk about here. First, I am shocked at myself that I have never heard of this band. For, I mean, that stadium was full. Completely full. Standing room only, it looked like to me. So, for a group that's able to do that, how come I've never heard of them? And I feel like I'm pretty open with, like, the choices of music that I like. I don't know. I knew I was going to like this just because I knew my style, my taste of music. I have like a weird taste of music. Maybe not weird to some people, but to most it is. I knew I was going to like this from the beginning, but I didn't know how much I was going to like it. That, that woman, Floor, oh my god, her voice, angelic, and then like I, I assume the second half, even though I feel like this song went through so many movements, like an opera, somewhere in the middle of this, when everything kind of changed and it got serious, and I was like, all right, she's, she's like taking the kid gloves off and she's coming out swinging. That's when I saw what her full range was. And I know there's people out there that know people's ranges like from like you know a minor to f something i have very very little musical knowledge when it comes to terminology and stuff i'm not well versed in it at all so i have no clue what floor uh, and again guys I, i'm so sorry if i'm mispronouncing anybody's names but floor she must have a crazy wicked range like from here on the scale to here on the scale like she's all over the place and sounds beautiful doing it and like her just just her style in general i loved it all like from the the outfit she was wearing to just how her her presence was on stage i just think she's lovely and an amazing singer and killer vocals <laughs> killer I would be a student of hers if I didn't think that it was too late <laughs> the song itself I I didn't get I didn't get what it was about I didn't and I, I say this in all my videos if anyone's new to my channel I say this in, in a lot of my videos that if I am new to an artist and I have never heard their songs before if I don't know what a song is, if I've never heard it before, I'm so bad at, like, hearing lyrics right off the bat and understanding, like, the content, especially if there's, like, a deep-rooted meaning to it. I'm bad at catching on to it. I need at least two more times of listening to a song with the lyrics in front of me to, like, get it. I'm sorry, guys, if that's, if that means I'm slow Okay, yeah, possibly, but I, I really do need to check out those lyrics just because it's a beautiful song, which I did read on Wikipedia that Thomas wrote that song and wrote all of the songs. I'm guessing for once and probably all the other songs, he's the so lead songwriter, so beautiful, beautiful song, like so epic. It started out epic. It gripped me up and like caught my attention and held on to my attention throughout the whole song. It might as well had been an opera. It was definitely wonderful. I'm definitely interested in this group. I need to hear more of them. I am going to listen to the song again with lyrics in front of me, but also I'm just a tad bit curious as to how Taria sang this. Floor's version, 100% dug it, loved it. She's beautiful, goddess. I just, you know, I, I just would like to hear what the original sounded like in comparison just because I, I like doing that. So I appreciate your patience with me, Keith. I know you asked me to react to this a long time ago. I'm so happy I got to it now. Wow. And that's going to be my reaction, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, 
I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe. The weekend has snuck up on us yet again. I hope you guys really get to enjoy it, relax, do something fun, hopefully try to get outdoors, enjoy whatever weather we are blessed with, and I will see you guys in the next video.